Soccer Club's took what is easily one of my all-time favourite games from my childhood, or set of games. Oh, uh, next game, next game. Oh, when we, we get just, to all this little yeah. chat again. Yeah. Yes. But we are fi- I When I first joined the channel, I suggested we should do at least one of this trilogy. I know we wanted to do the entire trilogy since I started the channel, and never yeah. been able to. So but we'd see that, and uh, and then praise be unto humble, they um, I, I I noticed an ad on Facebook. Get get Call of Duty World War Two, Spyro Reignited Trilogy, and Crash, Crash, Pan, Insane, Crash Insane, Insane Trilogy for I think I think it, was, it came out as ten quid. So, so we got it, but we have all we can now is record all the Spyro and all the crashes, but. I mean, I don't quite like how he looks in this, but it's, I can live with it. It's the same voice actor, it's Tom Kenny coming yeah, out. It's, right? the same, it's the same voice actress as in these two, no, not that one. No, it's Tom Kenny's in the, versus the one in the first one now as well. Yeah, but he didn't in the yeah, original. Exactly, though. that's what I mean. It's still, but it's, anyway, we'll be launching into the second one because yeah. I, don't, I like the second the one. The second one was originally called Gateway to Glimmer over here, though. Yeah. And I was thought with the, you know with the regular trilogy released over here it would oh be. Oh yeah, I need to put a new battery in the time. Change back to get rid of Emma. But is this rain ever gonna stop? I forgot and what the sun looks like. Cheat was supposed to get him with sunglasses. We should go on vacation. There's a cheat code for Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah. Oh, I have not been there since we kicked ass in North Park. How about it, Sparks? You went for a vacation at the beach? I like Sparks the best. Last one there's a Nork! Hey! (laughs) (laughs) When this came out, I mean, I bought this trilogy Um, at least four times. Well, you bought it for me for Christmas. You, yeah. Danny, yeah. And I'm pretty sure I got another version of it. But you bought it for you twice. You bought it for you twice, one on disc, one on not. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this. I'm not they really a uh, bit well, fire like this. I what? suppose it's okay, but <laughs> the readers out of Hunter, I'm kind of no. I, I don't like Hunter. That's exactly the point. Hunter needs to have like a jaw like a hinge with a big pink hole on the inside. really weird. I mean, in the I, original. Yeah, I, I yeah. do like Alara's design though in this video. Yeah. I think every other design I've seen in this, except maybe Sparrow's, I can get behind. And even Sparrow's, I can mostly accept. Hunter's. It looks good. Yeah. But it just seems to mean on this one. Yeah. I, 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 I'm fully aware that Spyro's could be a lot worse. Yeah. Having seen Skylanders and being aware that the guys who made that are the same guys that designed him in this. Someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? No. Where's Sparrow? Oh, there he is. A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! Nix it. Crush, kill it, kill it! And then they're flying away. Go, you imbecile! Oh, he didn't blow up anymore like he used to. Do you remember that? I think so, yeah. He didn't blow up, but he like yeah. burnt and it makes him drip off the ground. Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't I mean, had time to explain. As, as Nadeo Ripto's rage makes a lot more sense than Gateway to Glimmer. Yeah. But, but if you didn't know, if you'd only right played the first one, Gateway to Glimmer, Ripto and you were buying it just based on the title, you know. Also, Sp- Ripto was Spyro in Japanese. If you look at the Japanese uh, box art for Spyro, it looks like it says Ripto instead of Spyro. But yeah, this is... I like how they added the that in the original. Begins. And because we both played this on the original PlayStation, we both I, I'm actually playing it on a PS4 controller instead of my usual X, uh, uh, my, yeah, my usual well, Xbox One technically. I think on the first uh, when I bought it for the first time, you know when I stole my disc drives. Uh, oh yeah, the uh, I forgot to mention the grass flame. I mean, you've not played the version of what the copy I got, you, have you yet? No, I haven't. 
Oh, you're in for treat, man. So, there's so much elements <laughs> into it. Uh, I mean, in fact, I think, I think the first time I played it was here, and I found that weird glitch in Hurricus. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you mean, you mean, you mean when you got too many energy balls? Yeah, well, weird. Uh, yeah. Ooh. That, uh, Also, I don't believe know what's the if, if, you, you, the, if you use all the other buttons back for Punch Gems. Yes, I can. You can find my friend Twitchy. He'll reward you. For I don't remember that voice uh, a bit in. Um, but yeah, this is kind of. That, that, that's, yeah. that's the. So yeah. the only thing about that that I kind of don't like because it's mixed between your all the trilogy. Yeah. So in the first Spyro, as you you know the Dispatch Worlds, you look powers, mm. and that was one of them. So it basically made yeah. that bit useless. Yeah. Which is kind of you know disappointing. Yeah. I was gonna say one thing. One thing I'm noticing is that I'm actually using the thumbstick to look around. Yeah. Well, you have to do that in the original, but you just. You, well, no, you, you, you couldn't in the original because it was designed for under the premise that the original PlayStation controller didn't have thumbsticks. Oh yeah, that is true. So you used L2 and R2 to look a, to, to look around, and then you have the. Uh, However, it is you actually got into this view mode. I'm pretty sure it was the triangle. No, I can't remember. I'm yeah, pretty sure yeah, it was the triangle. triangle button there. Yeah, and you did that in order to actually be able to look up and aim and all that shit. Also, I have tested it many times. The double button glitch has been uh, yeah. Oh, has been fixed. They removed. Because well, they they removed the rest of the thing, whole thing to ground up, and they obviously yeah. learned because that I can't you can't do it anymore. So we can't just you know. Complete glimmer within the first go, like we, I used to be able to do on the original. Yeah. Oh, and we also have to pay money back. Oh, several yeah. Several times, unfortunately. Where's the thing? Zoe! Hi, Spyro. I'm a friend of Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Can you help me find Alora? Yeah, sure. Zap like means that it's. That zap means I don't like that zap. I'll return you to this place. In the original, it was a lightning bolt. Yeah. I think they got that. Uh, did you ever play Heroes Tech and Use some gems? Back in that area, there was more like gems on there. Did you ever play Heroes Day at Tail? No, no. Oh, uh, did you ever get them? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so in Heroes Tail, there was a, you know, a, 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 a cut in between doing that, and it was literally um, saying, you know, save your prop. She she's up sparring, gives him a shock, and then she went, you know, you, such and such a simple problem. Also, you lose a million brain cells, and then Spyro goes, Wait, what? A, a million brain cells, that seems to taste so destructive. Then she zaps him again, she went, ah, that cat seems kind of bad. And then she zaps him again, she went, okay, okay, it's cool. And I think because people are a bit... Oh yeah, I need to unlock the ability to climb. Yes, because we got the jump shorts glitch. Looks like you are too. <laughs> Why do you have a ladder in your building, in your mind rather? That you are too short to be able to climb. Well, they say this, yet one of them obviously can climb. What? Oh yeah, he's up there, isn't he? Yeah. Well, like the old double bump, they used to be able to double jump on top of the gem while and just do it. I'd also not have to pay money about. Hmm. Which is why I used to love going up to him and saying no. And he went, well, you'll have to get across. You, this is the only way across. You'll have to pay for at some point. And I'm like, nah. nah. Let me just use this platform to get on the high platform. Ah, you must be the Kraken everyone's talking He's still tall. He's even worse now though. Yeah, because he doesn't look like a cookie teddy bear anymore. No, he just looks like a prick. prick. It'll cost you yeah. a hundred of your gems to cross. Uh, sure. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Then Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. Should he be able to do that anyway? I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. I hope we meet again when you have more money. To get a good look around, press the action button. Try using action to look around this cave. You know, I'm sure she used to just say the actual triangle, triangle square, yeah. whatever. Yeah, I mean, I know, I'm guessing they changed it because so many platforms, so many different buttons. Well, look, uh, it was, uh, the Wii Night Trilogy was only released, originally released on the 360, not 360, so one, Xbox One and PS4. Yeah, exactly. But we all knew it was going to be um, a bunch of parts of PC and Switch, just like, because they could just be the insane trilogy was. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've seen people saying that the Insane Trilogy was one of the reasons why they actually went and did, um, you know, reignite it. Actually, yeah, Beca that because would of be how right. because that, of how well it did. That would be right because the some of the, the part of the company that made Insane Trilogy talks about the yeah. That is exactly right. We was all like, as soon as the insane films come out, we were like, come on. Yeah. I can't do one without the other man. No. I mean, I played more Spyro than I did Crash. When I've I was, completed all the... When I was a small boy. I've ma I completed 100% on all the Spyros back in the day. I never did it with all the Crashes, though. I no. think the closest it came was to free, but I never fully completed them until the insane film. Can you go restart our gym lamps? Well, actually, don't tell them that. I did do the first one, and then swore I'd never do it again. Because that was when you were to get a gem in the original Crash Bandicoot 1, you had to get through the entire level without dying once, and get every single box. Oh, yeah. Which on some levels, like, for instance, Slippery Climb, or... What is it? The High Road. It was a pain in the ass. Even with the uh, cheat of uh, jumping on the side of the ropes. Well, that gem's better. You better take it instead. Is this the one with the. Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, what do you call it? The. Um... The fireflies that speak in haikus. Or is that the next? Is that the Spyro 3? Yeah. Gems. Could try hitting him with rocks, but you're a shitty ass boy. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Because I, I don't, I think you can even get it without using the double gl jump, jump glitch without the rock if you're quick enough. Or you could in the original trilogy. Not sure. Considering you know you can do, you have to glide over there. If you're quick enough and time it right, you can get it without doing with just by gliding over there. What, without doing the... The glitch, yeah. You mean that, that pot there? Yeah, you, you need to get that. I know, but... I'm gonna... You're gonna... Jeez. I'm gonna what? I, I thought you were gonna say you're you gonna cheat. You can spit pretty far, Spyro! No. See if you can spit all the way to the lizard. Oh! <laughs> you're not doing what I think. You know what, the gym won't drop. I know, but once the gem's out, I can, and I fly close enough. You can sparks. fly across there if you do it properly, anyway. Yes, but why would I ever do anything properly? Because that guy was supposed to be supposed to hover. Yeah, but hovering's not working. That's it. You're supposed to press, press triangle at the end of your glide, and then you go. Then why was it just making me drop to the floor because whenever I Because she wasn't pressing it properly. <laughs> Over, it wasn't flapping at all. I was going. You was doing one do. That. You was You need to jump. I did top jump, glide, and, and then do that. Yeah, I, I did jump, glide, and then fall. Well, it wasn't flapping for some reason. I don't know why, but I, I, I say I did it first time. <laughs> Follow me to the next user. You don't actually need to aim, but you can Just jump and fire it. Who was that? I can't remember. Somebody had to. The artist formerly known as the rare Chinese Pepe. Where is the gizzard? Yes, I know I can pick up a yes, rock and... That, that's still a thing that I did in for the original trilogy. Accidentally talking to NPCs when you're trying to do something. Yes, I can pick up a rock and use it to shove it up your ass. That'd be forward, but alright. I missed being able to do that. What, the double jump? No, the, the feel... 
look, it looking like you're going to make the jump, and then all of a sudden you, you bounce off the ledge. Can't get it up from there. Yes, I know I can't get it up. <laughs> Oof! <laughs> Headshot. You've saved my crop of gems from the lizard. Here, take this away. I Some used comment. to use to spit a money bag. Some girl with wings dropped in here yesterday. I I do miss the fact you and the original said you have one orbs or when you got it said zero orbs and then when you got one it will change from orb or orb orbs to orb. I do miss the do that. You know, not bothered about the rest of it, but just clutches it <laughs> Yeah. You can't get up there. No, I was just I was just looking up to see if there were gems up there. Yeah. But you can't get up there yet. You need to climb. About the double double So, um I think next episode I'm gonna to have to figure out what she is to give Sparrow some muscles because it just looks funny. I don't know if it takes a tumor to try this, I might not do it. Because I only used it after I'd already completed the game. No, it just means I can't get the achievements on that save file. So the way you're saying it makes it sound like I'm only going to play through this once. Oh, well, it is that. Come on. Oh, you've already done these. Yeah. Trust me, it won't let you have tried many times. What? Trying to glide all the way through to the ledge. Wasn't going to try. It'll all start running out a lot quicker before you get to it. Please take, take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of my gratitude. It's a pickaxe. It's a gold pickaxe, it's shit. I don't like the way the portal just the constructs itself. Oh, yeah. Whereas before it just sort of roars up the ground. Yeah. You know, you know what this the, the, the design of this portal makes me is making me think of? What? Snake pass. Oh, yeah. Kind of, something, yeah. Okay, that portal will take us to Summer Forest, but first... Let me look at them. I'm looking for the guidebook. You work at, you've probably got all the gems you can get. There's... Stem flight, lizard hunt, and one more thing which will cause me to climb up the ladder. Gem flight, two, and so is the rest of the gems. That's why I always got annoyed. If we got the double jump glitch, it leaves it unfinished. It's OCD and it just does not bug me. Flat, 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 Summer flat, Forest flat. is the same thing. You need climb to complete it. <laughs> And then some worlds in Autumn Plains do it, we need Headbash. I can think of two in particular. But isn't Headbash the second triangle after gliding? Second... Jump, glide, No, Headbash hover, is jump and triangle. Pop. But you don't lock that ability to the third one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh hello! We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Sparrow, stop looking up her dress. <laughs> yeah, they gave me a souvenir. Well, community seems to think that it's a Laura that has a crush in her mom. She does. She definitely does. Yeah. But in this, it, 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 at least he notices it and acts yeah. on it, apparently. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalon, and they are all magical. If they collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Somehow. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, could have gone a little lost. Sparrow's gonna help us collect the talismans. She's called Shroud. Sparrow, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talismans. They just give me a talisman. Can you give them in your guidebook? Hey, I could do that. No, you couldn't. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? See, Summer's meaner in this one. You can't even keep track of your running shoes. He has shoes. He's lost it. He, he misplaced his running shoes. One of the in-built jokes. Uh, but I'll tell you about them later. 
penalties. Okay. The one challenge in this game that I'm always annoyed at, and it's one challenge. Can you guess which one it is? Find his shoes? No. It's the fucking popcorn bloody crystal one. Because the first one is easy, and the second one, he cheats, I swear to God, in um, Mind Lacoon. Water! He can't swim yet. He, no. won't, he won't kill me if you fall on it. No, I just. Doggy paddle, basically. It, it, the physics of the water that was so nice. Oh, yeah. That, that, that's refreshing. Yes, uh. Money so to speak. Money, ba money bags went to 500 gems. <gasps> boink, boink, boink. I ain't got an extra life. There's no one on there. Money bag walks 500 gems. So to teach me how to fly. Yeah. It's, it's it bad that I, I know swim, where yeah, everything fly. is in this, in this area. Yes. I, I, I have completed this, this game that many times that I can remember where everything is in Summer Forest, at least. Yeah, you've played this a lot more than I have. Which is why I'm playing it this now. This is the whole world called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. Sure. Oh yes, the famous Ripto smash. If you fall down, you'll get a bunch of things. Ripto smash this bridge. And so I guess you'll have to pull it out of the Press X to go to jump, and then press X again in the year to make it. Ah! Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a there's a gliding jump in the episode as well. A rock. Oh my God, a shiny rock! It's a rock and it's shiny. What's that reference? Uh, you go bridge. Oh, of course. Here we are. Hey, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're still... It was still definitely active, so I remember that voice line for a fun remember. See how it's suddenly all nice all of a sudden again, though? From this, uh, compared to cutscene. Like, all of a sudden your best bugs. Wait, did that sheep just explode, explode in a big poof of fluff? I believe it did, I can't. I'm gonna go to Colossus first because you need you can Oh actually uh is that say 20? Uh either 20 or 22 I can't tell. We should probably finish some of the forest off or the one can and then I'll get it off. Yeah. One of those series I don't want to end why well, end the episode. No. I strongly suspect since we're doing this one now, I'll go, I'll be playing the other ones off screen. Yeah, until we do them ones. Yeah. Just remember you can't hover in the first one. Yeah. Or swim in water. Or do the head bash. But yeah, the 125 10. Okay, creep, talk to me. Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater. Also, but not as much as I'd love to take your Creep, <laughs> 500 gems. I told you. I can hear like uh, Sean Green's fist like, you greedy bastard. Yeah. Okay. And there is Hunter being a... Uh, Hi Spyro. Dead. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more You can have so much fun with the double gun press in this one. You don't have to do anything he says. He says, you need to glide okay, across this. Bad. Nope. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. You need to jump, press glide, and hold up. Nope. Jump again, this is the hardest week of all. Jump, you can literally double jump and then glide with that last one there. Nice I job. don't remember them having now. more on the original, so... Neither do I. Oh, you're supposed to have to hover. There you go. You yeah, you have to hover. And this one's supposedly the hardest leap of all. Compared to the original game, it now really is. Now the hardest leap of all. You have to do this one everything you've I also remember a glitch. So there was a glitch where you get to the last platform there. And if you glide, glide and hit the set, very specific area on that far wall, yeah. you could uh, go out of bounds and basically be walking underwater. Okay. The only problem is, as soon as you did that, the only way to get unstuck from that area was to exit the game. 
Is that a That's ball an by old, spot? Yeah, you need to learn how to swim to get it. So get a walking star. Jump, Jump wide and hop. Wide and hop. Oh, in your case, cut the side of the um, bottle. Hold down X to get more hang time. And now he's about to lecture me again. I've just realised he has a bow. Yeah. This one's true. He only had a bow in the hero's tail. Press the jump button. I was going to say, I didn't, I didn't remember having a bow in the originals. He did have one in hero's tail because he was a playable character. Yeah. And, and, that, and that was what he had instead of that. Oh yeah, he was pretty, ba he was pretty, bad pretty badass at that time. He got exploding wow, arrows. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. <laughs> if I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. Why well, can't I imagine him being voiced by Carlton Banks? <laughs> if I hadn't lost oh my, my running shoes, okay, yeah, I'd take you on for real. Oh my god, that is perfect. For now, fair, here's, a, here's just, a bollock. Yeah, which you couldn't give me anyway. Just like, this is what annoys me about the third game. Well, you might as well. <laughs> okay, is there any more shiny you think? There's some. And the third game, you know, you're supposed to be rescuing the dragon eggs. And he goes, oh, I've got this dragon egg. But I, you have to complete my challenge first, it's like... I've got this dragon egg. I was going to use it to make an arm one, but... No, it's the fact that he makes you, like, you do challenges against him when it's, you're, you know, like, baby dragons are at stake. He's like, yeah. yeah. Could be worse. It could be baby sharks at stake. Do I have to actually go into a world to get some gems in order to pay Yeah, you can't get them from all the ones that come across to the gem that I'm pretty sure you'll have missed a gem in the first area. I always do by accident, hidden amongst the trees. Is that just a magic whirlpool that takes me back up to the top platform? Yeah. I have to actually enter it from the bottom, presumably. Yeah. So you're more like, I think you're more likely to miss one or two gems. I always end up, no matter how many times I play, it's like normally over hidden over there. You both probably might have, yeah. No matter how many times I've played this game, I always miss one or two gems in the starting area the first time I go through. It's normally hidden between... Sparks is pointing at the water, isn't he? Yes, that's because you need to swim in the bed. Yeah. But I knew you'd have missed it yet. For some reason I always have, but it's normally hidden between the trees. And you've got another life. You've earned an extra life. You've got a shiny corner. I wish I could remember what game that was for. Well, you've earned an extra life. I don't. It was, a, it was a, I know it was an education game from when I was, it definitely was like a 12. Oh no. no oh man! Like, you like got two, a shiny it's like, what water! Is it, Baldi, Baldi Zoo now, oh wow. Come on. Baldi gets Baldi, Baldi over each. No, Baldi probably. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's all the gems you can get for now from my yeah. memory. I can glide into ledges and it makes the same sounds if I charge it. Makes a slightly different sound. Okay, it makes a very similar sound. I can notice a little click or thump bark in there. Okay, Sparks, where are you pointing? Up there. Oh. Where the uh, oh. that's where the other um, you know we come out where you swim in the first epic. Mm -hmm. you, I don't think you can get any more gems. Okay. Uh, you can't get money bags if you're not afford it. And if you're going to pick a level next to Roy, I would suggest Colossus. Colossus. I will swing. You need to complete. You need to swim. Go ahead. Some of us. Some of us challenge. Only we'll be able to get to the third wall anyway. I'm oh, no, sorry, second wall anyway. Yeah. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. Thank you. I believe we're out of time. Yep. So Unfortunately, because I've been able to quite enjoy this. Mm -hmm. So, I've been good games. I'm reward. And we'll see you next time.